So today I'm talking about a P0125 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0125 code? Well, it's an insufficient coolant temperature for closed loop fuel control. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. And the first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer can use this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And this keeps the engine running really well. It makes it very responsive when you go to step on the gas and different things like this. And when these sensors start reporting this information back to the computer, it goes into what's called a closed loop. Because when the engine first starts, it's in an open loop. And then once the engine warms up, when the sensors all warm up and different things like this, it goes into this closed loop which is reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the computer is fine tuning how much fuel is getting injected into the cylinders. And like I said before, this keeps the engine running very well. It also makes the engine more responsive. But if this closed loop doesn't happen and it stays in an open loop and the O2 sensors aren't reporting back to the computer how much oxygen was burnt off, then basically the computer's guessing how much fuel should go into the cylinders. And so the engine will run, but it won't run as well as it could run. And one of the things needed for this to go into a closed loop is for the engine to reach operating temperature, which usually happens within a minute or so. But when you get a P0125 code, something's gone wrong with this, and the engine's not reaching the operating temperature that it needs to be for this closed loop to happen. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting. Oh, why? And so what would be some possible causes of a P0125 code? Well, the first thing that might cause this is low coolant levels. If there's low coolant, then it might be throwing things off. The sensors might not be getting good readings and different things like this. So first thing to do is be sure your coolant levels are good. There's no leaks going on or anything like that. Be sure the engine's cooled down before you go to check the coolant. The first thing to do is be sure that there's no coolant issues going on. The next thing that could cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. The engine coolant temperature sensor is what's reporting back to the computer what the temperature of the engine is. And if this goes bad, it might be reporting the bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks that the engine's not reaching its operating temperature. When it is, it's just that sensor's gone bad and it's reporting bad information. Depending on the vehicle, there can't be one engine coolant temperature sensor. There can be two. Sometimes there's even three. It can really vary. So you will need to do some research to be sure which sensors are doing what, where they're located, how many you have, different things like this. But just keep in mind, there can be more than one engine coolant temperature sensor. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad engine coolant temperature sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the engine coolant temperature sensor. So if there's any kind of problems in the wiring going to that sensor, there's an open, there's a short, there's a bad connection or something like that. So that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. You will need to get a wiring diagram for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on inside that wiring before you go to test it. But it is fairly common for like one side to be getting voltage. And that engine coolant temperature is what's called a thermistor which is a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. And so as the temperature goes up, this resistance is going to change and that voltage going through it is going to come out the other end and the computer can read this and it could do its calculations and can know what the temperature of the engine is. So that's a basic overview of how they work. Like I said, be sure to get schematics for your particular vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is a stuck open thermostat. If the thermostat gets stuck open, it's not going to be regulating the temperature of the engine like it's supposed to be. Then this can cause the engine to run cooler than it should be. Basically, these thermostats are mechanical devices. They're supposed to stay closed until the engine starts to warm up. And then as the engine warms up, these are going to open. And this is going to open, and then it's going to let fluid go through, which will circulate through the engine and cool everything down. When these get stuck closed, the engine overheats. But when these get stuck open, the engine runs too cool. It runs cooler than it should be. And that can cause issues like this P0125 code. And so the next thing on the list is going to be that that thermostat got stuck open and it's not working the way it should be. And the last thing on the list isn't very common, but it does happen sometimes, especially in climates that get very, very cold. If the weather is very, very cold, the engine might not be able to warm up to where it's supposed to be able to warm up to. And in that case, you can sometimes get a P0125 code. Like I said, this isn't too common. And this would only happen in the winter when the temperature outside is so cold that the engine can't reach the operating temperature that it needs to to go into a closed loop. So the last thing on the list is going to be very cold weather. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0125 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.